we got to talk about the Milwaukee Brewers and just how incredible they are. I mean incredible. When we talk about elite teams, the Brewers need to be in that conversation. And I just feel like because it's Milwaukee, they they don't get the love they deserve from a lot of people. But I'm tired of that. This team is is better than than they're a top three team in the league. I've had them a top three team in my power rankings the last few weeks. But it, we need to talk about them in depth and and why they are so good and why they're underlooked. When you look at the main teams in the league, you look at the Dodgers. We talk a lot about what the Giants are doing. We talk about the Rays. We got to talk about the Brewers. In May, it was right around May 20th, the Brewers were 21 and 23, under 500. They made a trade that nobody really saw coming with the Tampa Bay Rays. You don't, you don't trade with the Rays. You always lose. They didn't lose it. They acquired Willie Adamas to be their shortstop. It transformed their entire season. They were 21 and 23 at the time they they acquired Willie Adamas. They are now, since then, 70 and 36. Since that day, they are 70 and 36. They have over a 10 game lead in the NL Central with a surging Cardinals team that we just talked about. They have a 10-plus game lead over them. That's incredible. This team is the real deal. Then they acquire Eduardo Escobar at the, tra- at the actual trade deadline and just get another good bat for that lineup. So this lineup is good. They put up runs. But you know who doesn't put up runs? The other teams when they're playing them. And this is why this team is so good. This is why I have them predicted to do so well in the playoffs. Corbin Burns. I don't even know who the ace of this staff is. Corbin Burns, Brandon Woodruff, I I don't know. Corbin Burns is probably pitching like that this year. He has a 2.34 ERA on the season. One of the Cy Young frontrunners right now, him and Scherzer, neck and neck at this point. Brandon Woodruff, 2.55. ERA. So they're one and two guys. Look at that. And then their three guy, Freddie Peralta, 2.65. I've said this so many times, pitching wins in the playoffs. I've seen it time and time again. The playoffs is a different beast. It's a different animal. I'm telling you, pitching wins and nobody does it better. You can argue the, the Dodgers rotation. Yeah, but I, I'll take this guy. I'll take these guys. 10 times out of 10, I'm taking the Brewers rotation. Those top three, no thank you. I do not want to face them in the playoffs. And then let's look at the back end of the bullpen, which is so important. Devin Williams, their eighth inning guy, 2.55 ERA. And then you get to the ninth, you have Josh Hader with a 1.34 ERA on the year. So you have three dominant starters. That's what you need in the playoffs. Give me three guys that can start games. They have three. They're all dominant. Then you need an eighth and ninth inning guy. This team is built for success, and this is exactly why I tweeted out on on August 20th, I got the Milwaukee Brewers winning the National League pennant. There. I said it. Not only do I stand by that, I, I, I would double down on it if I can. I said that a while ago, and I still believe that. The Milwaukee Brewers are going to win the NL pennant and represent the National League in the World Series. And their pitching is a huge, huge reason why. And we need to start putting some respect on the Milwaukee Brewers. Because they're the real deal. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun. So hit that subscribe button.